What's going on everyone? Jack here from Half Chrome and this is the Isheen Civitar. Civator Civ Isheen's version of a Senna Whoop. Uh, race Whoop, they say. And uh, I flew this thing around, Chris flew this thing around, and I think, I think we found the perfect use case for this quad. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's talk about what we have here. This is a classic Cinewhoop style drone. Uh, they actually call this a race whip, which means uh, you can fly it with a 6S battery, which is exactly what we did. I actually went out and got a couple of brand new 6S batteries to test on this thing to see if you really could race with it. This thing's pushing three inch props. They're actually these cool five blade design. The motors are 1507 2400 KV motors. So like I said, you can fly this with a 6S battery. The ducts are molded, which is kind of nice, a little more rigidity than some of the uh, 3D printed parts. We've got a carbon fiber frame on top and bottom two millimeters thick. Flight controller inside is an F7 and the ESC is a 35 amp ESC with a burst up to 40. So like I said, you can fly this thing on 6S. It does have these nice foam bumpers all the way around. And I think that is the key to this quad. It's 142 millimeters from motor to motor diagonally. And this thing's about 290 grams when you don't add a battery. So it's over that 250 gram limit. So keep that in mind. I flew this quad without any cameras. I also tried it with my GoPro and my Insta360 Go. Now when you add a camera and a 6S battery, it gets really heavy. And it's actually really difficult to hold your altitude with this thing because it gets real heavy with those extra cameras and heavy batteries. So as a cinema flying around people, I wasn't super comfortable doing that. I wasn't super comfortable flying in tight places. Um, I tried to fly through Chris's house unsuccessfully a couple of times. It just is too big and heavy, I think, for a pilot with my skill level to be able to do something like that. Now, somebody that is really good, absolutely, you're not gonna have a problem pushing this thing around through houses. But, you know, for moderate pilots, this isn't super agile or super responsive, so kind of keep that in mind. It is just kind of heavy for that. I think the slam squirt is probably what you want to go with if that's your angle. Back to what we got, we got a Runcam Nano 2, and the VTX is switchable up to 800 milliwatts. It does come with a handful of different TPU mounts, so if you want to mount a GoPro or an Insta360 or something like that, you can. Now, this design, terrible in wind. I tried to fly this on a windy day, um, and it was just, it was like a kite. It was super difficult to uh, maneuver, especially in the wind, so uh, you can't really try to fly one of these things on a windy day. Now, it was super windy, maybe super light breeze, you'd be okay. Uh, but not meant for breaking through the wind. So what is this a good quad for? Ah, well, Chris and I found that it really does a nice job of bouncing off of obstacles, right? You can fly this thing around and kind of bounce off of little things in your way. Try and hit a gap, you don't quite judge it right, bing, it'll bounce off. And if you can, if you're good enough, uh, turn air mode off, you can kind of re-stabilize and keep flying. We did this a ton. That was a lot of fun. Almost like indoor whoop racing. This thing, outdoor whoop racing. Yeah, actually, I think there's a use case for that, right? If you had tight places and you wanted uh, kind of almost like a bumper uh, drones feel, you could fly something like this in an environment like that. This thing's about $170 and it's fine if you know its limitations, right? So don't go outside thinking you're gonna acro rip this. I know other people say you, you can. Yeah, it'll fly an acro and sure, you can do some maneuvers and stuff, but I just think it's it catches the wind a little bit too much for that. It's just a little bit too heavy for, I would say, freestyle. But as a bumper drone, this thing is tops, right? So that's an option uh, if that's something you're interested in trying to do. It does also have a barometer, so you can enable that and see you see your altitude in beta flight, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but otherwise, it's kind of a run-of-the-mill, uh, bumper-protected whoop. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. If it was, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you check out our website, halfchrome.com, and we give away a drone once a month to a lucky Patreon subscriber. If you want a free drone, link in the description down below. Good luck, everyone, and happy fun. Thank <laughs> you.